Now we're going to move into elements using image to video and Kling AI with elements. And again, what are elements? Elements are images that you can upload that you can then prompt to interact with each other, which is so amazing. Think about it as a marketer. You can have different objects that you could slap together, merge together to bring out a wonderful video. Or if you're planning on doing ads, think about these opportunities that you have in being able to create this. So I'm gonna show you in this instance, how I use elements to create a coffee mug ad to sensationalize the coffee mug and to not make it complicated at all. I'm actually just going to use two images here because I know trying to get four images could be overbearing. It's wonderful. You could also try it, but I've noticed that at times using a few gets you there. So here we're going to upload our image right here, and then we're going to upload what we want to market, which is this coffee cup right here that has the graphic on it, which is very important because I've gotten questions a lot of times, like how can I make sure that it's still my brand? It's still the graphic that I put on this image that's going to come out in a perfect way. And this could be the answer to that. So we have both images here, and then I'm going to just describe the actions here. And so here is the prompt I'm using. And again, use AI to get your prompts. Just tell AI, this is what I'm imagining. I told AI I'm thinking about marketing this cup and it gave me a bunch of ideas that I'm using here. So our prompt for this now is gonna be woman in soft natural lighting with the white coffee mug to her lips to take a sip with branded design visible on the front of the mug. Her eyes looking directly into the camera, cozy indoor morning scene as she smiles and winks. So we're gonna, Look at the output here. But again, what do we do? We are going to put in our negative prompts. We don't want to forget that. And here are now options that we have. You have two options, as you can see. Standard. With standard, it's only 20 credits, right? Not as crisp, not as clear, not as good. That's just something to know. Now, if you wanted more than five seconds, as you can see, it changes, then it's going to be 40 seconds. So you also have your outputs here 16 by 9, 9 by 16, 1 by 1. And I could create different outputs if I want. But again, as you can see, it changes my credits. So in this instance, it was professional and VIP that we went for to be able to get this wonderful image that I'm going to show you what the output came out to be. And here it is. So that's the coffee cup. Look at that. Wake post repeat. Still perfect on it. Like that is just amazing because that's what we wanted. So imagine if that was your logo. A little bit of a shake, but it's still captures it in a great way without losing that graphic at all. And speaking about the prompt, as you can see, went really for it, even the wink with both eyes this time, actually. But, you know, that makes you want to take a sip out of that mug. It gives you an idea on how you could use that product. And as you can see here, I've used this for several realistic videos to capture different kinds of scenes that you want. This is about being at an elaborate event and toasting the good times. This was a picture of a lady walking confidently to the camera to give a professional pose just from an image uploaded. And in this instance, I only used one image. I didn't even use two under image to video. So you don't always have to use several images here. You could just use one depending on what your goals are and your outcomes are. But being able to mix and match, wow, that's just so huge.